We have stayed at East Bank Campground twice now. It's a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers site. It's in Bainsbridge, Georgia, which is right next to Chattahoochee, Florida, right on the border. And it's also on Lake Seminole. They have about 65 sites there, and they are nice and spacious as most Army Corps are. And we had a nice 100-foot long site on the water, and we really enjoyed our stay there. Check out our park tour and our review with our report card. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. There's the East Bank Campground sign when you come in. And nice peaceful road in the woods. We stayed there for five nights, which would have been $120, but with our senior discount, it was only $60, $12 a night. So they got a bunch of the little speed bumps up here. They are open at 7 and they close at 10. That means the gates are closed. <laughs> so they actually give you an emergency number in case it's needed. There's a shack. You pull over to the right if you... Uh, haven't been registered yet. Go through the left once you get registered. They have two hosts here. Both of them are by the front gate. There's your dump station. That's your fish. What is that? Is that like a fish cleaning? Fish cleaning okay. station. Yeah. Nice. And then as you approach the camping area, you'll see. Lake Seminole and the dam. Got a cloudy day today in the sun when it's sunny it's really pretty. There's three main sections. There's no sewer hookups. There's water and what? Water and electric. Nice. We happen to have 50 amp. Go to the left. These will be campsites 17 to 35. All the loops are one way. Speed limit is 10. This is called Loop C. Most of these are uh, back ends. Through the entire park, actually. But they're um, pretty good size. They've got one or two folks. They do. Get a beautiful view on the lake. East Bank Campground is located on Lake Seminole on the Georgia-Florida state line. The lake and surrounding area provide a variety of outdoor recreational opportunities for fishing, camping, boating, picnicking, hiking, biking, and birding. The campground is open year-round and it offers a total of 65 sites. We like the size of it, most of which have both electric and water hookups, no sewer hookups. They do have flush toilets, showers, drinking water, laundry facilities, and a dump station. They also have group picnic shelter. This is um, no camping down here, but they do have extra parking, and you can have a campfire down here. There's a little pavilion. They give you a card to hang in your vehicle plus one to put on a post and you have to return both of them when you leave and this is loop B over here check out the bathroom You wait your turn there. So you have individual showers. Oh, I like these this kind. You got a bench area. There's your shower. 
I actually have a couple of hooks so you can put your towels on there. So this loop is not on the water, but they still have the pretty trees. He's in the pull through and he barely makes it. Wow. No showers. Just a bath, I think. Mm -hmm. They all have fire rings, a preparation table or whatever. And they are the small... And they have a grill. They have a grill. And they have um, the hanging pole for your garbage. And picnic table. When you come in, there's quite the hill to come down. And then in Loop A, there's a little bit of a dip there too, but we didn't have any issues. But you can go all the way down this road, and there is a launch and some tent camping. Paved roads, which are nice. They have pea gravel in the site, so you don't get a bunch of dust and stones in your RV. I wonder if these are boondock. And there's your boat ramp. Lake Seminole, pretty good sized lake, but it's averages about 10 feet deep. And then there's the dam to the Chattahoochee River, isn't it? Yeah. I believe it's the hooch. And then that's our site right here on the end. So we have a 100 foot site. Works great. Zipping the two bikes fit in front of the truck. These aren't spaced out as much as they usually are in Army Corps sites, but they're still nice. There's trees in between a lot of them. Lake Seminole has a surface area of 37,500 acres and 376 miles of shoreline. There's a variety of wildlife that makes their home there in the Seminole Lake, which include raccoons, alligators, ringneck ducks, canvasbacks, hawks, bald eagles, black vultures, tortoises, and snakes. Lake Seminole is known as one of the best sites for sports fishing in America. There's over 79 species of fish there. The campground offers a boat ramp, a dock, and a fish cleaning station. They have a dump station, emergency phone, an entrance station, which includes a host, flush toilets, laundry facilities, picnic shelters, showers, waterfront sites, electric and water hookups. And we're right here, so we were able to come down this road back straight in. And there's the post with your tags on it. There's Leroy. So here's our site. Then we got all this area here. With the fire pit and the grill and the prep table. And a picnic table and then we got stairs to go out in the grass down to the lake took our chairs down there a couple times sat out there and watched the water go by so why didn't you drown Dave it's a no-fly zone here because it says you are approaching a restricted zone restricted zone type Appalachian Correctional Institution East Union Prison if you go to this campground you have to go to Rutabaga's restaurant it's a family-owned restaurant in Chattahoochee, Florida. It's a very old home. They've turned into a restaurant and everything is homemade. The cornbread was outstanding, the red velvet chicken, the blueberry pork chop. It was all awesome. The best though was the homemade apple crumble caramel cheesecake. Unbelievable. The price there isn't bad either. In fact, we liked it so much we went back one evening to have dinner there. Shrimp and grits and Dave had a filet with lobster truffle. So if you get an opportunity to go there, it's probably about Five minutes away. I'm going to walk over here and found this cute little rock. And it says, get a move on. But on the back of it, it says, keep or we hide, just have a good day, and post on RVing Rocks Facebook page. So I thought that was really cool. Let's get a good look at that rock. I'm going to hide it again 
and I'm gonna post it on Facebook too. And a lot of people, they go get their own rocks and paint them up like for Christmas or whatever, and then they're doing the same thing with it, and everybody's just posting their pictures on Facebook. So it is RVing rocks. Pretty cool. East Bay Campground, it has a 4.4 stars out of five from 218 people who have provided a review. The mobile coverage is about three out of five for Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, and AT&T. If you're looking to do some shopping, the closest place to shop is in Sneeds, Florida, which is right next to Chattahoochee, Florida, is Piggly Wiggly. So if you need to go shopping, it's only about 10 to 15 minutes away. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.